y'all it's good okay when you just want some like a little sweet not just sweet but sweet what you want hey pony <laughs> I recently got a new juicer. I posted about this on Instagram. Ah! <laughs> I did this like partnership with this brand, um, and the brand is Purim. And the juicer is really good and it's also like super cute too it's like easy to put together and all that but yeah so i want to make some apple juice which is why i was just cutting up those apples it's like super quiet but i know brandon's gonna be happy brandon actually loves apple juice so i'm excited to give him some all right let's try it Mm. That's so good. Hi friends. So I just got some groceries delivered. Just wanted to, I was like, let me just go through them before I put them up. So I plan on making like falafel sandwiches for um, like lunch or dinner this week. I'm not sure. So. I got this pita bread. I really also want to try to do like this orange sickle, um, like orange sickle, like smoothie. So I got orange juice. Now I could have done it by just getting fresh oranges and juice in that. However, I was like, you know what? Actually, I could have juiced it. Wow. I was just, when I was ordering the orange juice, I was like, I don't want to have to like sit there and peel like the skin of the orange. Dang, I could have got oranges and juiced it. Well, whatever. I got some orange juice. So I'm gonna freeze this orange juice, make like orange juice cubes, and then I'm gonna mix it with like some coconut milk, maybe a little bit of maple syrup, um, some vanilla. I don't know what else. That might be all, but I'm really excited to make those this week. I got some chickpeas because I'm gonna do, what did I say I was gonna do for my, um? Oh, I'm doing a sweet potato and chickpea curry for dinner this week. That's why I got the chickpeas. I got some plant milk. So I got the Malk almond milk, which I really like this brand. I saw that Daring had like this new vegan chicken. So I was like, hmm, I should try it. So it's like a teriyaki flavor. So I'm excited to try that. Y'all, this is my favorite um, yogurt right now. It's, it's my favorite. It is so, so, so good. If you see this, you need to get it. Like, it's delicious. Red onion for my little falafel and then like whatever else I wanna make this week. Um, it wasn't a huge grocery order because I'm like, I also have several things here that I wanna use and I wanna use up because Brandon and I are gonna do a, well, I'm doing something. He's doing something different. I wanna do raw vegan for a week. So I didn't want to get like too many ingredients because we want to go through a lot of what we have here. But yeah, I'm doing raw vegan for a week. By the time you watch this video, I may be like prepping. So it'll be like next week that I'm going to do raw vegan, but I'm excited. I got some green onions, some kale. Y'all know your girl loves some kale, okay? Um, and then the last thing I got was, and I got Brandon some stuff, but... Um, I've shared before on my channel, my husband's not plant-based, so, you know, his stuff isn't necessarily stuff that I promote on my channel. But, yeah, and then I got some hummus. One day I really do want to try to make my own hummus, um, but until then, I'm going to keep buying it. And typically, the roasted red pepper is my go-to. But, yeah, so that was it. I mean, very, very short haul because... I didn't have a ton of things that I needed to buy. It's like super late for me to be introducing myself, but mm, sorry y'all. Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakayla. I create and share delicious plant-based recipes and inspiration. If you're returning, thanks so much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so silly, but if you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. This week's, I mean, by the title, you can tell this week's video is going to be a what I eat in a week. And I'm like super excited to film. This week, I want to do um, like this crispy tofu. It's like a Caesar wrap. So good. I'm actually about to have that for lunch. 
but I posted this on my Instagram last week. So if you are not following my Instagram, you're missing out. Um, let's get into lunch. Back to the basics, been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I stay in the streets, get dangerous, so I might bang it. Don't like hanging, unless you family, please don't. Like what you claiming, what you saying, what you bought and what you need. I'm at the house, ain't at the club. I'm really chilling with my seed. I love my poppy, but me on. I'm really chilling with OGs. Don't test my gangsta. Think I'm made. We gon' we gon' Tryna be here for a while in a good time. When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine. Good people, times and good wine. Good wine. Tryna be here for a while in a good time When we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine Good people, times, and good wine Good wine Streets get ugly, yeah, I seen it. Please believe me, I be tough. Don't like smoking, last so long, so I keep sipping on this cup. Don't crave attention, just to mention, I be chilling in the cut. Glass got empty, now I'm searching through my wallet for a buck. Dollar bill, listen, change in my pocket, oh no. Hit my girl, can you spot me? I just need a little loan. Out the house and I'm just vibing, vibing, vibing on the low. She said she so one of my Instagram friends, Plant Based Brie, I believe I may have mentioned her channel, but I mean her page before in a video, but I'm like always inspired when she posts something because her meals are like very, very plant forward, like minimally processed and everything just looks so good. She had posted this frozen, I mean not frozen, freeze dried strawberry oatmeal situation on her story and then on her feed. And I was so intrigued and inspired. Like I had to try to make this at home. Like I've done cereal with freeze dried fruit, but I've never included it in my oatmeal. And going forward, I'm definitely gonna do this. Like not only did it taste good, but I just felt like it was a nice way to romanticize your oatmeal and just like take it up a notch like it was it was perfect and i would highly recommend you try it so a couple of videos ago i showed you i went to whole foods and i had purchased this like pre-made falafel now i am prepping to do like a raw foods um diet so my goal here is to use up what i have um, I mean, of course I did purchase some things for the week as well, but I still wanted to like figure out how to use up the things that I had. And although it was frozen and would last, you know, for a while, I was still kind of like feeling it. So this is me making a falafel wrap, Euro um, type of situation, which was very easy to put together. And it was also very, very delicious. I cut up a bunch of like fresh vegetables. I tried to make a vegan tzatziki sauce, tzatziki sauce, and this wrap was delicious. Now here I'm making that chickpea and sweet potato curry. Like, I mean, my chickpea curry recipe is like, it's fire, but this one was like, it was so good. I don't know if it was like the fact that I added in the sweet potatoes. I don't know what it was, but when I tell y'all this was bomb, it was bomb. Something I did differently, so I mentioned I added in the sweet potatoes, and then you'll also see that I added in some hemp seeds. I just added in the hemp seeds for, you know, the additional health benefits that hemp seeds have, but one that really stands out to me is the protein that you can get from using hemp seeds. And so I think it was about like three tablespoons of hemp seeds equals like 10 or 11 grams of protein. Great, especially if you are interested in, you know, focusing on protein and like increasing your protein intake. I think that adding hemp seeds to anything would be great. And as I mentioned, it was so delicious. Like I shared it with Brandon. I wish I didn't because I was like, I really want some more. I feel like everything that I end up sharing with him, I'm like, dang, I should have kept this to myself, but you know, I be want my man to eat good too. So it's okay. Okay, so y'all know how I always make these. Like, I probably eat these like two to three times a week. So what I did, instead of like always just pulling out all the seasonings, I just like pre-prepared, prepared, <laughs> the just like a batch of seasoning. So it has nutritional yeast, turmeric, salt, black pepper. Well, not salt, but the black salt, colonomic, as well as some garlic powder, a little bit of smoked paprika. But I just do that so I don't have to whip out all the seasonings every single time.
Something else I've been doing recently is I take just like a little bit of coconut sugar and I put it on here. It's been so good. Right there. And rub it in. Yum, yum, yum. Now y'all know I eat this. <laughs> It's like one to two times per week. So it was gonna make an appearance in this video. Right. You wanna send me stuff. Right. Like why would y'all send that via DoorDash? Like <laughs> I got a stalker. He sent me plenty of things. I legit thought I had a stalker. I was like, and the stalker don't even know me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't show this, but this is what I was making. Is this, um, it's like a chickpea omelet. And it's really, really good. I have put together this sauce. In the sauce, I just put like a, um, what is it? The pure, like that cocoa, coconut yogurt that I showed you, as well as lemon juice, cilantro, salt, and garlic pepper garlic powder and it's really good i need to start making these more often but make sure you check out my instagram because it's going to be on there my granny she'd be like randomly buying me and brandon snacks sometimes and she bought us some um some snacks from the nut house y'all okay so let me back up I didn't know that people, and I talked about this on my Instagram, but I didn't know that people really be eating watermelon seeds. Like when I had posted that I was like, I was making the watermelon drink from my video from like a couple videos ago, I was making that drink, but I wanted to freeze the watermelons, <laughs> watermelons. I wanted to freeze a watermelon, but I was like, okay, I don't want to blend watermelon seeds in my drink. So I like removed all the seeds from the watermelon, like the black seeds from the watermelon and I like talked about it on Instagram and people were like, what, don't don't get rid of those seeds. They're so good for you, they're nutritious. I didn't know folks was out here eating watermelon seeds. And because when I was younger, I was told like, okay, you eat a watermelon seed, a watermelon gonna grow in your stomach. So I just like, I mean, of course I know that that's not true, but it's always just been ingrained in my head from that not to eat watermelon seeds. So people were like, no, you're supposed to eat them. They're good for you. First of all, I'm still not about to eat watermelon seeds. However, well, like not just from the watermelon itself, like, no, we need to get a little creative. But my grandma had ordered, at the, uh, ordered us these snacks and she had no clue that this was like something that I was dealing with. Again, dealing with is, sounds very like intense, but you know, just like, I didn't know that that was a thing, but she ordered those snacks and it was watermelon seeds, roasted watermelon seeds. However, still like, okay, she said watermelon seeds, cool. But I didn't realize that inside of the watermelon seed, hold on, let's go. Inside of the watermelon seed is a seed. I gotta crack one open just cause, did y'all know that? Like the seeds are so little, so it kind of makes them hard. Like they're smaller than sunflower seeds. And when I was younger, and even into my adulthood, I used to tear sunflower seeds up. So this is feeling very like nostalgic. I still eat them every now and then, but because it has so much sodium, I've been like <sighs> trying to be good to myself and treat my body right and not eat them as often. But anyway, so this is like, I'm trying to figure out how I can show y'all. This is like a seed inside of a seed. So like you can eat that little part right there. Now, some people may eat the whole thing. I'm not eating the whole thing because it's a shell. But, yeah. Like, you can just, like, eat that. And the other day I was eating it, I was just cracking them like some fire seeds. Like, what? Are you kidding? Who knew? That's wild. Another snack for me right now is <laughs> these watermelon seeds. Hello. I think this may be the last day I film for this video. Um, but... Y'all, that chickpea curry from yesterday was so good. So, so good. So, I'm having that for dinner again. It was delicious. But I want to show y'all, like, this little dessert that I've been making. I consider it a dessert because it's, like, very, like, y'all, it's good, okay? When you just want some, like, a little sweet, y'all know, sweet. Not just sweet, but sweet. When you want, hey, pony. Um, but when you want something sweet like this, this right here. This right here. Okay, let's put it together. Buddy, I'm not sure think I'm talking to him because I talked to him in that voice. Hi, 
Hi, buddy. Okay, so I put about one cup of almond milk in there. And now I'm gonna go in with the chia seeds. I'll probably, this is a tablespoon. I feel like I'm gonna do like, maybe three, let's do three and see how that is. I'm gonna go in with the maple syrup. Then I'm gonna go in with the cacao powder. It's cacao, um, it's a little bit more bitter. So I'm gonna do like, that was half a tablespoon. I'll probably do like, one heaping tablespoon of the cacao powder. Put this on here and kind of just like shake it up that way. And then I just let it sit in the fridge. Hold on, cause some of it got stuck at the top. So I just put it in the fridge like this and I just let it sit in there. Like I know with chia seed pudding, you typically can just like let it sit for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna let it sit for a good while. So I'm not gonna have this until later tonight for dinner, well after dinner and then when I take it out, scoop a little bit, put the little crisp on there with a the little vegan dairy-free chocolate chips. It's so good. So I'll see y'all. Well, I'm about to have dinner, um, so I'm just gonna make that plate, but I mean, I'll talk to y'all again once I'm about to have dessert. I put my foot in that rice, okay? Mm -hmm. so good like we tore this up yesterday so i made like enough for brandon too and so like he actually has some as well i heard him up there like scraping that bowl okay like he was scraping it but it is so i feel like it's gonna be super hot right now mm. it's not bad but this is really good it is time for our dessert the chia seed pudding is all good so we're so excited i clearly changed clothes okay so these are the cookies we're gonna put on top which are gonna be delish and then again these are the um granola or oh my gosh the white chocolate chips that we're gonna use okay so we added a little bit more milk i mean it doesn't look like the prettiest but it's really good okay i promise let me show y'all so I just get like a handful of these like dairy-free white chocolate chips, sprinkle them on top like that. Then I get these crackers, just like a good little handful and I crush them on top. And this is how it looks. When I tell y'all this is good, I mean it. Like I'm not kidding. This is so delicious. So bomb and also very like nutritious because of the cacao powder as well as the chia seeds. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And I love texture in my food. So between the chia seeds, the crackers, and the um, chocolate chips, or the white chocolate chips. Oh my gosh, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, if you have not taken a look at my Wednesday videos, be sure to go check those out because you get to know more about moi and just like things that I do for fun. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.